Hey guys, it's going to do again and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be focused on a new component for the XR Interaction Toolkit that is going to allow us to place annotations. This new object is called the AR Annotations Interactable. And what's going to happen is we're going to be able to add it to an object that we already have. This object is going to display an annotation, which I'm going to be using Text Mesh Pro to do that. And then we're going to be setting some options that are going to determine when to show the text and when not to show the text. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, let me show you the demos that I have for the annotations demo that I'm going to be walking you through. So the first one, it's going to show you how I do plain detection, also how the annotations look like. I want you to pay attention to how the annotations go away as soon as I change the angle of the camera. So if I get close and some of them are disappearing and, you know, it depends on the angle, how much of the text shows and when does it hide and, and show. So you can see that like, if I scale the object, I can also scale the text and the annotations disappear where I'm really close to the camera. So I'm walking above that and then you can see how they go away. So some of those properties are controlled by the annotation component. There is a maximum and a minimum basically, which tells you how close from the camera you can be. And then on the right side, I can show you that the values are a little bit lower. So on this one, I'm using radians and I'm using 3.14 on the angles. And that's why you can see the annotations for the most part. This one right here is using 0.25, which means that I can't really be on an angle. Otherwise, if I am, the text is not gonna show. So as you can see, I have my, my phone basically right on the floor. And if I just change the angle a little bit from the, from the object, the text disappears. I also have a little bit of flickering on the text and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to fix that to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. But if I if I don't have an angle between the object and the camera, then all the text is showing. So let's go ahead and jump in and work on some of those components. So the first thing that I'm gonna do because I'm assuming that you watched the previous video. If you didn't watch it, make sure that you watch the previous videos because it, it's gonna explain to you how to do placement and also object manipulation. So this one, it's going to be AR annotations. And I'm just going to start with this scene. I'm also going to be putting this in GitHub, so make sure that you watch for that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, I didn't wanna change this implementation because I want the previous video to work. So I'm going to just change it. And this one is gonna be AR cube with annotations. And normally I don't like having a spaces between the objects, but I think in this case, it's, it's completely fine. And then what I'm gonna do to add the annotations, we're gonna double click on it. And I already have the other object with few annotations. And in fact, I'm gonna go into that and remove this component so that I can show you how it works and also so that we don't change the original object. Now, if we go to the new one, I want the annotations to work. And, and all the annotations are, they're gonna be a game object and that's what I have right now is on the previous video I show you how to do the air selection. This one I just created a new game object. Inside I put a title, which is the annotation title that you, you saw in the video. And then I just have a, a, a sample paragraph, which is the famous Lauren Ipsum. And it just has a lot of text and then the size because we're dealing with AR is it's very small. This one is 0.25, where the title is a 0.58. So, and then I just basically set it right above it. So the issue that I know that you notice on the video that, and I don't know if you saw it, that it was showing the text and then hiding the text is because this object needs to be disabled to start. So make sure you disable it to start and then the, the system is going to track whenever you have it within the boundaries of the annotation, it's gonna show. If you're outside of the boundaries of the annotation, it won't show. So that's everything as far as like the object, how you would do, what you would do to create annotations. And this isn't, you know, you can do anything you like. If you want to do text, if you want to do other 3D objects, you can also do that. Just make sure you put them in a, in a game object that contains anything that you want to display during the annotation state. So now that we have that, how do we make that work? And, and if we go back here to this object, and I wanted to show you the components that we would need to add. So let me go ahead and resize this a little bit. So I show you in the previous video how we can add the AR selection interactable the translation, a scale and rotation. On this video, since we're focusing on annotation, we're gonna look for the annotation. So if you search for annotation, you're gonna find that. You can also do AR annotation, and you can see that that comes up right away. So and normally, like I do in here, and I don't know if this is gonna be an issue or not, but I normally just delete it. 
just I select here and then hit delete make sure that we don't have any mismatch messages and the next thing that I do is this is going to ask you if you want to have an annotation and because we're using annotations we want to set this to you can set this to as many numbers as you want for my instance I only wanted to do one text annotation but if you want to do multiple annotations you can also do that you may be in a museum and you may want to show a specific annotation if you're you know if you're really far from the from the actual object but if you get close you want to show something different and that's how, this is how you can control that in this case I'm just going to do one but again if you want to change the the values to do different ranges then you can do that as well so normally how this works is you add the size and then you have the game objects in here in my case I just I just have one so I'm just going to add that one and then for the maximal FOV center offset I'm going to set it to 3.14. This is in radians, so make sure that you set those in radians. And then the minimum annotation range, I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna allow it to be, to be, you know, this is how far, this is how close we're gonna be from the camera, and this is how far we're gonna be from the camera. So I'm gonna say, you know, 10 meters, I think it's, it's enough. So if we're outside of that range, it's not gonna show, but as soon as we're within this range, the text is gonna show, and this is just, this just means the angle that the text is gonna show. If this angle is too low, so like for instance, if this was 0.25, my four, my my phone or your device would need to be sitting basically straight, looking straight at the object, where 3.14, it gets me about, you know, 180 degree angle, which allows me to be, you know, standing up and have that, have a have an angle between the object and the camera. So I'm gonna set it to 3.14. I know the, the pi is greater than that, but I think I think that rounds it. This is enough. I don't remember the other numbers. So that's everything that we need to do there. And the other thing that I'm gonna do after this, that's, that's everything, is just basically associate the new object that we care for this scene. So to do that, we need to go to the AR placement interactable. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change it to be the new object, which is the one that we just created. I also need to go to my AR session origin and associate oh i thought i had to but i don't i don't have to this one is the visualizer so the only one that you need to change is going to be the one that we're going to be using for placement which is this one that uses the ar placement interactable so that's honestly everything that i wanted to show you guys if you guys have any questions please let me know all right guys thank you much for watching this video if you guys have any questions or anything that i just mentioned please let me know in the comments also make sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers and also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.